There's something special about these trees. It's the way they look, the character they have, the presence they have in the landscape, the smell, the touch, the feel. There's no other trees like them. These trees have spirit. They've got presence. When people meet these trees, they can't help but be filled with a sense of awe. They are elders in the landscape. There isn't anybody I've brought here who doesn't feel it. There's something that makes people feel they have a relationship to these trees that touches people in a special way. This is Luttrawitta, Tasmania. And these are Wailina, cider gums, the weeping trees. Minor cider gums are the most frost tolerant eucalypts in the world. They live in subalpine areas, in the frost hollows. That's the niche they've evolved to fill. Because of the cold, they're really slow growing. They live to be very old, possibly older than we know. But on a warm day, you're walking through the bush and you smell them before you see them. There's this smell of a cellar, woody and alcoholic at the same time. Then you do see them, coloured bark, and the big twisted branches that come out like a huge cascade over your head. The biodiversity around them, butterflies, moths, ants, native bees, honeybees, stoneflies. It's like nothing else. The cider leaks out, drips out, pools in these big, bold depressions, sweet and sticky. And it ferments. No other eucalypt does that. Some days, you can even see the cider bubbling. It's a sad thing to witness how much they're struggling. We singled out five stands to work on that were in the best health. But the 2019 fires badly affected them. Mostly, the fires were caused by lightning strikes. Thousands of lightning strikes right across the island. Now we're down to two stands. It's not just fire. We've got deer out there browsing on them and wallabies. Bless them, but they're in such massive numbers. Possums too. They scale up into the canopy and essentially have a big party in there, eating the new shoots. We're doing what we can. We've put in fences, with a floppy top, make it a bit more difficult for the possums to get access. It comes with its challenges. We've had to put wombat gates in, 
because otherwise the wombats will trash the bottom of our fences. A wombat's like a nuggety little bulldozer of an animal. Very determined. You can't really replant my inner side of gums. The logistics are intense. They need a deer proof fence, a possum proof fence to be sprayed for insects. They need watering. You can't just put them out there and think they're going to survive. Can art help the trees? Definitely, yeah. Art's a way for people to experience what they might not see or understand with their own eyes. A window to why something matters. It can show us values that are not necessarily economic. Remind us to appreciate what we've got. What we've got for now. What we can do is keep the myonocytic gums alive and in the landscape for as long as we possibly can. I got to a point where I figured it wasn't enough anymore to recycle stuff and pick up rubbish on the beach. I'd been watching documentaries about the extinction crisis and I felt such a sense of panic. I knew I had to make sure what I was doing was relevant. With extinction studies, the plan was that for 12 months, I'd draw recently extinct animals, species from all over the world, then erase the pictures. Three years later, I'm still doing it. Now though, I'm, I'm drawing critically endangered Australian species. Ones that aren't extinct yet, so there's still this little bit of hope. Erasing the drawings isn't something everybody gets. I work in a public space at the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery. People stop and talk to me. They say, oh wow, a possum, or a parrot, or whatever. The drawings give me an excuse to have a chat, to explain some stuff. They give me a way of bridging the gap, I guess, getting people to engage. I'm not a scientist, I'm not intimidating. I'm just an artist having a chat. People are really confronted when I tell them I'm going to erase the pictures. They'll say, oh, but it's beautiful. You could just leave it there. And I'm like, yeah, but then you're not gonna stop and talk to me for 10 minutes about it, are you? Trees, this tree, that's something newer for me. People don't tend to empathise with plants the way they do with other species. And maybe I'm a little bit like that too. It's not that I've stopped being panicked about the state of the world. It's just that I feel useful, at least. I don't know. It's hard to tell because I'm right in the middle of it and I don't think I'll ever have a way to quantify the effect that I've had on anyone. I'll probably just keep doing it though. Yeah, I'll just keep doing it, just in case it's working.